Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So yeah, I've not done one of these in so long and I really needed to do one. Um, I've not been able to find the time, I've been lazy, all the rest of it, but um, I'm, I've just scheduled about 10 minutes to do it now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, get into it, and give you, give you guys some good content hopefully. So uh, first item is this great balloon race. You may have uh, seen this in a haul video. I don't know how long ago, uh, it was a picked it up. It was maybe it, it was this month sometime I think, or maybe last month. I'm not too sure. It wasn't re really really long ago though. Um, I think I paid two or three quid for it. But as you say, you can go back to that whole video and you'll obviously uh, hear me saying the price. Um, but I think it was two or three pound I paid for it, and I got thirty pound plus postage. It's worth noting on that game. Um, it seemed to be going up in price. The last time I sold it. I only got 14.99 plus post for it, um, and this time I got 30 quid. So yeah, it is going up in price. It's probably going to be something you're not going to see that often, but when you do, do pick it up. Very very easy game to check. I think it's only got about eight or nine pieces, something like that. So very very easy um, and nice and easy to list as well. So yeah, um, and both of the times I've had that, it's been complete. So that's always good. Um, just something to let you guys know that you can still get some okay money for PS3 sports games, although they do take a while to sell. Is that just one second? Just feels like it's going off slightly. Right, um, so yeah, they do take a while to sell the PS3 sports games, but you can still get some okay money for them. Obviously, they're going to come down in value a little bit when you know PS4 games are coming out and all that sort of stuff, and generations of consoles are moving on they're not gonna go up in value anyway. So yeah, uh, nine nine PS3 sports games there for 10 pound plus postage. So uh, pretty much just over a pound a game, which is actually quite good. So I'm happy with that. I paid 20 pence each from um, basically a guy that uh, used to give me quite a lot of video games. I don't get so much from him these days because I don't really need to, to be honest. I, I get quite a lot of stock through the door. So um, I don't get too much from him these days, but I paid 20 pence for all the sports games from him in the past. PS2, PS3, all that sort of stuff. I generally had to get the sports games to get the good games because it was like a, bu a bulk deal. Um, I, I generally do bulk deals with him, so kind of have to get the sports games to get the good games, but yeah. Um, Space Robot, um, I thought this would never sell. Picked it up for 99p. When I was actually handing over the money in the charity shop, I actually thought to myself, what am I doing? This is not going to sell. But I think it was in one of those desperate days where I just wanted to buy something and get something listed because there was a time period where um, I, I was really struggling to get stock. Um, so yeah, it actually went for £9 after about six months or more. Um, yeah, I wouldn't get anything like that again, but uh, from 99p, I, you know, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't say I was really happy with it, but it was it was fine. It sold for profit. Uh, job lot of magazines, uh, annuals that I got from the auction the other week. Judge Caligula, uh, both of these went, um, and these went for 15 quid. So I think that gets me pretty much all my money back. I think I paid a tenner plus commission. So pretty much all my money back. I've got quite a lot of them to still sell, so that's always good. I've got about a, a big job lot of about 30 of them. You'll be able to see it in one of my very recent auction hauls, actually. Um, Fidelity, I think that's how you pronounce it. Fidelity Radio, uh, this was just for spares or repairs. Um, I put it on for 4 four ninety nine plus postage. I paid seven quid for six radios. That's excluding commission, probably about eight quid including commission. Uh, paid eight quid for uh, six radios. Put them, basically I, I didn't really take, I wouldn't say I took a risk, but um, I put them all on at a starting price of 4 99 thinking that a lot of them would go higher. A few of them went higher, but not all of them actually sold. Um, you know, sold for well, they all sold, but we not all of them sold for higher than the four ninety nine. But I was still happy because I paid eight quid for this uh, for for these six, and I got twenty pound plus post for that one. So I'm in profit already. And as I say, the others did sell. There was one I think that got about nine quid. One got six quid, and I think the others just got just went for the maiden bid of four ninety nine. But I'm still happy because there was still some okay profit in that little lot. 
So, yeah, that's what I did. Took a little bit of a chance putting them on auction that low, but kind of just knew that if they maybe got one or two bids or one of them, you know, flew a little bit like this one did, I knew that I'd be okay and that I'd get some decent profit really quickly as well. So, yeah, that was that. that's what I did with that one. Uh, nice one here. You may have seen me pick this up from a charity shop uh, again quite uh, recently. Uh, Harry Potter box set. This was the four book box set. I think this was the Ted Smart one. Um, and I got 35 quid uh, free postage for that and I paid £8.50. Nice quick flip that one. Probably within a week, if not uh, if not, you know, less than that. Maybe could have pushed a little bit more, but I don't think I was going to get more than 40 on that. I didn't decide to send it into Amazon. Maybe I should have done. Um, I did look into it, but I don't know why I didn't send it into Amazon. But yeah, um, there must have been a reason. Maybe I just didn't think the box condition was very good or something. I don't know, but I didn't, I didn't send it in. Probably would have got similar money on Amazon, though. I can't see it being mega more. So yeah. Anyway, 35 quid, £8.50. Uh, really, really nice sale, this. Really nice. Really happy to get this in an auction lot, actually. And it was my first... Well, no, not that's a bit of a lie. I've, all, I've already... I've not sold any Mark's toys, but I have got some Mark's toys listed. So it is a little bit of a lie. But my first ever sale, at least, of um, a Mark's toy. And I think... I think it was just so cool. I just think it's so cool. I want to pick some more toys up from that brand in the future. Um, so it's a Mark's Toys whirling toy. Uh, it was a Mary Poppins one, 1964. Obviously, it would have been like the, the first line of toys that came out for the movie. So obviously, all the kids in 1964 uh, were playing with them. Uh, it did have an issue. The feet were missing. The legs were missing. Uh, you know, feet or legs, whichever one you want to say. Um, and I honestly, I think I priced this too cheap. Only slightly. I don't think I've really, really undersold it. But I do think I could have got an extra 10 or 10, maybe 20 quid at push. Um, basically, I priced as I did because there was only a, there was only one sold for £72 plus postage. And that was really nice condition. This one, as I say, had just one, a little, well, I say it's a little issue. It was a fairly big issue with the feet missing. Um, so I priced it 60 plus post, thinking that's, that's reasonable. Someone's going to pick that off. And obviously we did after a couple of days. But yeah, maybe I could have got a bit more. I'm happy though. I'm happy with the price, happy with the turnaround. Um, and I'm glad I could sell it. And that is a real memorable sale for me. It really is. Um, obviously, because it's Mark's toys, it's just something that I, just something that I've always wanted to sell and always wanted to get into. And I love the vintage toys and stuff anyway. Uh, but these are the real, you know, real nice ones, and I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for the auctions in the future. So I paid fifty-five pound for a job lot of about four or five items. Again, it's in a haul video if you would like to see it. Um, and yeah, I think it was about four or five items. All the items were £30 plus items, if not like £50 items. So um, that one takes, maybe not takes me in profit, but very, very nearly in profit. And I've got about, I'd say, three or four items that are good value left to go. So can't complain on that one. Um, I did have a max bid of 50 quid in terms of what I wanted to pay. But I ended up going to 55 because one person bid 50 and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go to 55 because I really wanted that a lot. Um, so next was this diesel shirt. Not sure on how I priced this one. Um, I did price it at 25 quid, thinking that that was about on point. Did take a, a few weeks to go, I think. So I don't think I got the pricing terribly wrong on that. Sorry, I think it's just uh, put, being pushed down a bit, the uh, phone. Um yeah, I, I don't know on that one. I don't know maybe whether I could have got 30. But I think I priced okay. I think my pricing was a little bit better on that one. Um, some f items of clothing in the past I haven't priced great. Uh, maybe undersold them slightly. But I think that one, I was fairly on point with the price. So I think I'm getting a little bit better with my, clo with my clothing pricing. But it's been a tough niche for me to get into clothing. It really has been a challenge for me. Um... But yeah, £25, and I think I paid £3.50. It was, was either £3, £3.50. It will, it will have been in a haul video, probably. So yeah, that was that one. Uh, second to last penultimate item. 
Uh, this was a realistic dictaphone. Uh, I thought that brand name was pretty cool, realistic. Uh, realistic dictaphone. Uh, it was working, and when I tested it, it had like weird, on the tape, it had like weird, sounded like ghost noises or something. It was very creepy when I played it. Um, but then I think, you no, know, I think actually what happened was I played it in slow mo and it sounded like devil noises or ghost noises. But I think then, I, if I remember rightly, I think I then sped it up and, well, not sped it up, but got it back to a normal level of sound. And uh, I think it was okay then. But yeah, it, it was a bit creepy when I tested it. Um, I got 40 quid for that and I paid 8 quid. Now it's important to note these are all sales in June. Obviously, I've not done a sales update in quite a while, so I've just picked. I've just gone through all my June eBay sales and just picked out random ones, some higher value, some lower, just random random selection really, as I normally do. Um, so yeah, that was that one. And then finally, do you remember I picked up this Zuka ice skating like trolley bag, that sort of stuff. Picked it out for twenty five ninety nine, listed it, um, and it sold within a few days. Couldn't fault that. Maybe I could have got an extra tenner, but I really think I was pretty on point with pricing on that one. £70 plus postage, and I paid £25.99, so can't complain with that one. Little bit of time to pack it, but I was fine in the end. Um, obviously, I'm, get, I'm getting better with my packing now, and I'm getting faster as well, obviously, because I've been doing this for a fair time now, so I think over time you do get a little bit better at these things. So, yeah, it wasn't too much of a trouble to pack. But as I say, it did take a little bit of time. Um, yeah, so that was that one. Um, it was in a haul video quite a while ago. Oh, I am going down a bit, aren't I, here? Um, it was in a haul video quite a while back. Yeah, can't complain. That was a nice sale. So that is it for this little sales update, guys. Thank you for joining me. We're now in 12 minutes. And yeah, all that's left to say is please do give it a like down, be down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys. Thank you.